program in connection with the Brockton Public Schools. Every year, we've done it for, I think, I think this is our seventh or eighth year doing it. Normally, in a non-COVID world, <laughs> what we do is um, we meet at a school and um, kids come and Brockton Public School teachers teach them math and ELA through our Bell Excel program that we get the curriculum and we get everything and we provide it for them. And then halfway through the day, the Brockton school teachers get to leave and the YMCA enrichment leaders then help the kids have lunch and recess and then do social emotional learning and character development programs in the afternoon and have a lot of fun with the kids. And here we are today, we're celebrating Power Scholars program, which is a program this year for grades two through eight. Um, students entering grades two through eight. So this is the first time that we have middle school students doing Power Scholars. And we did this work in conjunction with the YMCA and the Bell Excel program that they use, the curriculum. So for this program, we had two supervisors, one for elementary and one for middle school. And we had teachers for both grade levels. And I have to say that this was a program that we were able to put together in less than a month. Um, because at first we were waiting for DESI guidelines on how to go back and when we finally heard that we were supposed to go virtual we had to make this program which has been existing for a long time we had to make it virtual and for the first time um, we were able to pull it off. Hi Miss Andrade, how are you doing today? Oh I'm doing really great, thank you Soraya for having us today. You're welcome. Now tell me, why are you doing really great today? Why is today a special occasion? So, we're in challenging times, but we work together, pulled together a remote learning program very quickly, very, very out of the blue, and it's been very successful. We had great attendance, great engagement with the kids, hired a fantastic staff of teachers, support people, along with the YMCA and their enrichment leaders. We couldn't be happier with the outcomes. You are exactly right. Now tell us, because you have been the supervisor for this program for a long time, the instructional coach, tell us a little bit about the program. Because we want to do this again next year, so we want parents to know exactly what to expect. Okay, so Power Scholars runs generally for July and August. Um, we tend to be five to six weeks long and we invite students from all the elementary schools and now from the middle schools in Brockton also. The program has an academic block for about two hours and it also includes an enrichment block in the afternoon, I'm sorry. And um, the kids get a kind of a holistic, well-rounded education in the summer program. It keeps them busy. It actually does uh, and help their reading and uh, math scores for the coming school year. And generally, our kids have a great, great time. It's just a lot of fun to be a power scholar. Excellent. And what is it that you have to, for parents for next year? Like the parents that are watching us right now that would like to enroll their students next year. What is it that you would like to tell them? Okay, parents, so keep your eyes open. Generally, around April, we send out invitations for Power Scholars Academy. Um, we were very successful this year doing it online, so we hope to continue that bend. And um, sign up as quickly as possible. The, the slots fill up quickly, and then we don't want your child to lose out on a wonderful opportunity. And we welcome back all our previous Power Scholars to join us again next summer. Awesome. We thank you, Ms. Sandrade, for all the years that you have put in this work. And we know, it, we know that you do it with all your whole heart. So thank you very much, and we wish you the best of luck. Now, enjoy your well-deserved vacation. Thank you so much, Soraya. This year, we are, every year the kids get t-shirts, so the kids are um, getting their free t-shirt, their Power Scholars t-shirt. <laughs> um, and we got three bikes that we're able to give, uh, um, give away for perfect attendance. The kids were entered into a raffle. We had tons of kids get perfect attendance this year, so over 50. We had 165 kids in the program consistently. Um, and we had, I think it was, a very, it was at least over 50% retention rate. So we had a really, really good retention rate and tons of kids had perfect attendance. Um, we have prizes. We have UMass Nutrition has also provided bags with backpacks and um, water bottles. Right. So here we have Samantha and Caesar and mom and both of them 
We're part of the program, the Power Scholars program. So I'll start with Caesar. Caesar, how did you like the program? Um, I liked it a lot. Um, it was fun. It was an, it was kind of hard waking up sometimes, but it was fun for the most part. So Samantha, hi. How did you like the program? It was good. It was good. Who was your teacher? Miss Quinn. And mom, how was it for you? It was good. It was nice to have something for them to do, especially amidst everything going on with the COVID. Um, it was nice to have. It was such a. It was a nice program, very different from what school was, um, because it was smaller classroom sizes. So I think they got a lot more out of it. I hope that they would incorporate some of that when they go back to school if they do the um, virtual stuff. That they need to really break up the classroom sizes so that the kids can really get something from it. Because what we did in the last few months wasn't really helpful for them. But this definitely brought a lot more value to their to their learning um, capabilities. It was great. So it was a good experience all in all? Yeah, absolutely, and I would hope that we can do it again next year. Awesome, nice to see you, nice to see you guys. Enjoy, have a wonderful summer. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.